I'm right here with the one and only king, the friend God, Samiri. What happened, <laughs> Chief? Welcome to NBC, man. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. No, no, I'm loving this. Good this move, man. I mean, for informal way because uh -huh. the vibes, I have a chill. Informal, just a pitu house. I know, yeah, I know, I know. Definitely, man, man. I think, even yeah. share this. I chanced on you on several interviews. And the one thing you've been talking about is your communication with God. Mm -hmm. All right? And it's so amazing because myself, I studied African um, studies in the university and of course I believe in God and of course the way we talk to him. Mm -hmm. I, I just want you to take us through how you communicate with God, even though we'll be friend in Yami, no be in Jinaho. Mm -hmm. But uh, eminent people like you, great people like you, you set as role models. All right. So anytime you speak, people can take your path and maybe it'll work for them. Mm -hmm. How do you communicate with God? Well, I, I am of the belief that if you are talking to God, you as, as, as a child of God should be able to deal with God directly. So I am not of the school that you need somebody to intercede on your behalf before you reach the, the ultimate maker. So I talk to God directly, basically. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's bad to have a spiritual father or like a spiritual guide or you know somebody that would maybe help you build your your I mean your career or chart your path. Yeah. But I think that from my experience right from childhood to now, I've never really felt that um, someone needs to lay their hand on my head before I can be prayed for, exactly. before my problem can be um, heard by exactly. God. Because if God is all knowledge, all power, He should hear me or He should know about my problem. Exactly. And maybe <laughs> if He does not think that I want it solved now, yeah. I should be able to tell him because he knows about my problem. Exactly. And then I'm sure he will hear me. Mm -hmm. And with that, I believe it's worked for me over the years mm -hmm. that I, I've never had to doubt when I ask God for a favor. Okay. No matter how long it will be for. Wow. And then sometimes too, it happens too fast than you even thought it would. Wow. So, all right. Yeah. That's amazing. Of course, a lot of people will be asking questions. All right, get big guys, superstars, all right? Do they chant? Do they meditate? Do you practice placidity? I meditate. You meditate? Yeah. All right. I don't, I don't, I don't veer towards any specific, um, you know, routine or any chant mm -hmm. per se, but I like to just do quiet times, you know, by myself, with myself and just all right. You know, All right. reflect, 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 right. and then allow the mind to wander. You know, because the mind is a very powerful tool. Exactly. So when you shut the eyes, the mind has its own eyes, and then exactly. so if you are brave enough to shut the eyes for longer than regular, exactly, the mind opens another eye. Exactly. And then you start to delve into spaces where, if you are brave, you can wait a bit longer, and then you see further. Exactly. But then, if you get shook, you just open your eyes. Don't 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 come on down. All right, that's yeah, amazing, man. Deep, you know? Of course, it's that's deep, deep man. Yeah. So we're just talking about communication with God with the man himself, Samini. And of course, man, we are still getting off to another question right now. And you know what? I just want to ask this: Since you rose to fame, has any moment or anyone? brought you to the pedestal where you have to prove yourself again? Um, well, in my, in my journey, I think around 2012, 2013, exactly. there was the shakedown again for who's, who's relevant in the dancehall space. Crazy, you know, and man. who's old school and who's, who's too old and all of that stuff. Exactly. So I think it was an amazing opportunity for me to re reinstate the fact that you know, yeah, man. I've not I've not gone anywhere, and yeah. I still have so much on my belt to give. Right. So it was an amazing experience, an amazing opportunity, and I took advantage of it. And here we are today, 2023. I'm still running things. Still relevant. Good vibes. All right, let me go deeper a little bit. I, I think the Guinness eruption. I was really present. I saw people, eh, really singing to your song, and I really I realized that this person does not belong to wearing a different T-shirt. But he was telling you, I swear, Allah, I swear, Allah, this be the man. What prompted you to give more? Because that day, the fire was too much. There had been newbies 
new fans of the industry, new fans of the genre who don't know the full story. Yeah who have been sold a certain fallacy exactly. based on how people want exactly. to beef, which exactly. is all allowed. It's, exactly. it's dance hall. You pick on people when people respond. So if you don't respond properly or strategically, you get kicked off the cliff. Exactly. So I had to come with, you know, a strategy to prove that it's not really about how many negative chants you chant from the crowd. It's more of how I get to engage you for you to stop the chants and start to sing my songs before I go off stage. Mm, mm, Your chants mm, don't get me to go off stage. Mm, mm, Your chants would mm, call me to engage mm, you. Mm, mm, and then eventually after one or two, you would now want to give me an audience exactly. to hear what I have to say. Exactly. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. Charlie, okay. you say? <laughs> because I was there right yeah. there and that day, I think I had a little bit, I was a little bit emotional because you proved yourself again and again and everybody realized that, no, that was the king. <laughs> That was the key. And I'm not exaggerating just because of this interview. We were talking about um, school and everything. Yeah. And we knew you took that bold step to mm -hmm. get into school and everything. I, I, I commend you for that. Thank Congratulations you. for Thank doing you. that, of course, Thank man. You. Being in an industry and getting to school, I think it's, it's one of the most challenging things that yep. a person can do or maybe a superstar will do. Mm -hmm. All right. I want to know, what are some of the eye openings after graduating from Game Park? Um, I think every every individual, if you get the opportunity to go through university, you should take that advantage because the university in itself is a mill that when you go through it, you have no choice but to come out with certain traits and certain you know attributes yeah. that you naturally would apply in your day-to-day -day dealings with people mm -hmm. in your various endeavors. Yes. So from business to stage to off stage activities and everything you would know how to segment stuff how to prioritize stuff how to add value to stuff yeah. you would know what it means to do swat yeah. so you know your strengths your weaknesses your opportunities your threats exactly. Exactly. and then you see how to you know align all of these so that you put them to the best of your advantage exactly. and grow exactly. so basically brand samini stands to benefit from the school that Emmanuel Samini went to. So uh, tell us about your your um, your presidency at uh, SRC. SRC president <laughs> at Gimpa. Yeah. Did you get it just because of your fame, <laughs> or you just you just watched the whole you no know, scenery and you said, okay, I can be the president of Gimpa. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Uh, I mean, I mean, I I know personally that you are very deep and intelligent. <laughs> And I think that will give you a very great score for you to get there. Right. But then, for the benefit of the people. Well, um, I had to come to terms with the reality that the student body were not this, just there, just gullible to vote for someone just because he's been on TV and he's been doing music and he's here on campus with yeah, exactly. I had to go on the grounds, campaign, and let them understand how committed I was for this office should I be given a chance to. Um, run it for that year and eventually that reflected in the, uh, the votes because I realized that even the outcome was not such a landslide so that should tell you that if I hadn't put in any work it could have gone the other way so I appreciate the fact that eventually I got to get the chance to experience what it means to actually be a president of an of a student body exactly. you know that is like a, a miniature version of being the president of a nation because you have your parliament which is your general assembly yes. and things have to be passed yes. before approved exactly. before budget exactly. and all of these exactly. things so yeah exactly. it, was, it was an experience yeah, and, nice one nice yeah, one yeah. is it is it a baby step to your political ambition uh, it's a it's a learning curve and it's an opportunity i've gotten to be able to see what it tastes like what it is like to actually be in such a space so that anytime I get the chance to come again mm -hmm. I would have had that experience of that's, you know that's right. dealing that's with right. people that's right. Yeah. that's right that's right that's right of course man if you don't know he has a political ambition and most definitely if, <laughs> he, if he becomes once upon a time yeah. or maybe in the future he becomes the president of Ghana please yeah. remember you heard it here first time on yeah. ABC yeah. Metro TV <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah. Numo, uh, we're still talking about this and of course man I want to know you see under your umbrella You've been able to rise or probably um, help a lot of artists to rise to fame. 
I can't mention names. Mm. They are a lot of them. Mm. But there's one name each and every time it comes up, people argue about it that he never was under your umbrella. But people like us know that definitely he was part of this or your movement. I mean, uh, what can you say about Mogis? Mogis, Mogis is more like family. Mogis mm -hmm. used to be Gogomi. So Gogomi was on my first album, my second album, my third album, and I think probably my fourth. By my fourth album, he was Mogis. That's when we did um, um, Tempo. Tempo. Yeah. All right. So way before Tempo, we've been family. Mogis was not a signee. Okay, okay. We are beyond okay, that. Okay, okay. You know, they are, they are already out to these. Exactly. He was, he was, he was, he was Gogome and then Payday was Payday. Payday. He, he was refused to broke. All right. He was already out to these. Oh, he was out to be. So later on, they spread, they, 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 you know, they, they came together and then they were always together anyways. But exactly. They, they, they solidified the group and then called it out to these. So then I just, I was excited to finally see Mugis pursue his own thing because he's always been a solo rapper yeah. who eventually started to sing yeah, exactly. because we are in the same space and he has that talent yeah, and exactly. we encourage him when he does it. So it's always a blessing to see him <laughs> in his space. But hey I mean, man! All right, before we go for a breather, I want to ask this quickly. Apart from being a farmer, a musician, all right, that's what I know anyway. What avenue do you want to venture into as a businessman? Do I well? want to? Venture or into. Or am I into? Are you? <laughs> oh, probably. Yes, of course, man. Okay, well, I'm into energy. I, I'm into some oil and gas. Woo! Yeah, I'm into That's some... a lot of money, man. <laughs> <laughs> money, man. I'm into some mining as well. Woo! <laughs> yeah, so... Okay, legal money. Yeah, of course. Legal money. Legal money, yeah. Oh, of course, I have, man. I have, I have a registered... Okay, I made a trip from... recently. You know That's Martin, a month ago. You know my younger brother, Martin? Yes, I know him. He's a mining engineer. Exactly. Exactly. So how and why should I not own a mining company? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. so... We have that on that side, right? Charlie Sikenio! All right, so... <laughs> oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right. I, I just want to know. I, I know um, a little bit whispered to me that you have a big love for media. Mm -hmm. And once upon a time, or maybe in the future, you are going to come up with a media house as a flagship. Of course, high grade multimedia. Hey, yeah. I, I'm Charlie inside. Yeah, of course. That no, was, I mean DC boy. I mean not DC boy. No, no, yeah, you yeah. just automatic. So high grade inside. multimedia. You have high grade TV. You have high grade radio. You have yeah, high grade online. Yeah, all of that. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When when is it coming? When is it coming? Um, it's uh, like like the politicians would say it's in the pipeline. <laughs> right? But I have a lot of young yeah. guys approach me. Yeah. Tech tech savvy young guys approach me with various innovative ways of, you know, eventually landing with something like this. So I like to use this opportunity to say the doors are so open All right. to the tech savvy guys out there who have futuristic ideas that we would want people like us to drive for a collective gain. Let's go. Things like that are generational wealth. You put it down there and then 500 years down the line, your family, my family, everybody's smiling still. Anytime I see you, of course, man, there's one song that rings in my mind. My own. The time of the day, nobody did. Uh, and it's for that, man. <laughs> but the moment you dropped that song, right? I, I think I, I took to social media and I did a short video of it. And of course, um, me and girls bless it too. <laughs> it's a beautiful song. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful song, Thank man. God bless you as well. Thank you. Because um, I don't know how it came by. What motivated you to write my own? I think, like I, like I said in a previous interview, at every artist, at a point in every artist's career, you, you, you face drought. Yeah. At every other point, yeah. it happens. Yeah. That's if you believe that you're in this for good. Exactly. There's times where you face drought, mm -hmm. where you get the opportunity to sit back and watch what's happening in the yeah. scene, enjoy new songs, soak new energies, yeah. and not necessarily um, counter produce. Yeah. But in doing that, you get to enjoy fallow period yeah, and get yeah, to yeah, have some yeah, vibes. Yeah, so that's what yeah, happened to yeah. me between 20, 2014 and 2017. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So after that, I thought, okay, you know what? Let me, let me give them something. Let me mm -hmm. drop something that will touch my you know, fan, fan base who love 
Yeah. Or don't you know, yeah. you know yeah. touch the women. Yeah. Touch something that would. You've you know, always touched the women. Because yeah. that's my that's my core fan. Exactly. Exactly. So after a, a while, to come back in the scene, I needed something that they would gravitate to. Yeah. So that it would naturally grab the man them. Exactly. The man them. The yeah. man them. The so <laughs> there's a story on um, about my own actually because yeah. <clears throat> when I got the rhythm from a very very. Uh, um, experienced person in the space who understands music mm -hmm. so i wrote some lyrics on a phone i was in new jersey then mm -hmm. wrote some lyrics on the phone one yeah. hot afternoon ordered for an uber straight to my studio yeah got to the studio getting off from the car the iphone falls on the ground and then the screen cracks mm. and then now all the lyrics <laughs> that i wrote I is am. all gone all i remember from what i wrote was yeah. And the fact that the chorus is my own. Yeah. So these two things I had were the rest of them. And then the studio time was also just for two hours. Ooh. So I had to now revisit myself and then say, you know what? Let them play it. Freestyle. Let them, exactly. Comes, comes. Yeah. So half of my own was from top of my head. Mm. Yeah. That's one of the that, that's one of the um, special sides of the music. So then the next day I came back and I wanted to redo it. I tried to fix it, fix it properly and do it. And then we compared the two. And the energy in the first one was better. It sounded better. better. It sounded great. It sounded more natural. Mm -hmm. The same happened when I did the song with the Korean Ponsa when I did the audio. Exactly. I did the freestyle, came back the next year, redid it, and then they liked the first one. Exactly. You know, so my own um I almost lost the lyrics. <laughs> So I almost lost. I almost lost a great song. Yeah, but, but not being still. so good, I kind of I refuse to forget it. Yeah. So the rest of it came. Yeah. And then I happen to sing that. I, I normally hear stories like this, especially they tell us the songs that you you really get the time to write all the lyrics, pen them down. It's they not going to blow you like no. the one you do it from your heart or maybe a freestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, the, one, the, one, the ones you do with free spirits. Yeah. Now you're not too restricted. Mm -hmm. They end up blowing. All right. Yeah. All right. So, people, if you are watching it, the legendary Samini is confirming this right here on NBC. And of course, man, this is what we do all the time. This is what we do all the time. Now, we are just enough to good vibes. It's all good vibes. All right. Yeah. Your new single, man, is so amazing. I listened to it this morning and I was like, yo, the man is really back with some fire. After school, he has really steadied the terrain and he said, okay, I'm coming with good vibes. Good vibes. And I see all good vibes on your social media, mingling with people. I mean, all smiles and everything. It speaks for itself. I think your PR team is doing a very great job and I have to Thank give you. them a very, very great um, Hannah for doing such a good job Thank because the the, 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 the the social media itself is talking about good vibes. The pictures are talking about good vibes and probably we just want to talk about good vibes. Can you give us some highlights about the release party, the, everything that went on? during the release party. Yeah, so um, Good Vibes is special to me because that's like my official return to the stage yeah, after yeah, yeah. the three and a half year <coughs> break that I took. Mm. Uh, it was a break stroke, no break, because within that break, I still released the EP. Exactly. Yeah, that had um, uh, a fear on there, it had exactly. medical on there. Woo! You know, so that that a fear video yeah. is on fire. So the burning EP, I released that one while I was still in school. Mm. So all those projects came. Mm. But good vibes I did without any pressure of you have project work mm -hmm. coming, you have a lecture tomorrow morning, or you have to oh, jump on a So Zoom you recorded class. that when you were in school? Yeah, I recorded good vibes after school. After school, okay. But most of these projects I did in school, I know the pressure when you're trying to divide your attention. Exactly. And I know the feeling when I was doing good vibes when I could just look back and see that. My certificate is lying there mm. intact, and I don't have a class tomorrow. <laughs> exactly, so, so the freedom, eh? Yeah, I can, I, I can leave studio till morning yeah. and sleep all day, yeah, and yeah. just chill. Yeah. So that energy alone, mm. that's what brought good vibes. And I think JMJ as well, being a producer who always does magic with me, mm. I thought to be able to sync with the real course and mini fans, mm -hmm. so they can take it to the world. I have to do this masterpiece with someone that knows me. All right. So contacted my guy and told him, yo, it's about time we hit the stage again. He's like, I don't even know why you went back to school. But anyway, welcome back. Welcome back. back. Here are some beats. <laughs> Here are some beats. You yeah. Know? So I went through them, picked the right one, uh -huh. I thought, and then we did it. And then I shot the video in Dubai. And that's also ready in the pipeline. Video will be coming out soon. 
I'll show us. I'll share a snippet of the video with you guys here. Thank exclusive. You. Thank you. But exclusive. To the fans out there, it's a challenge to get someone to get someone to subscribe to that YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I want to see the numbers up before I release that video. Exactly. The I, I is approaching see. 100k, and I want to see 100k before uh, I release. Oh, exactly, man. I've been, yeah. I've been, I've been going through TikTok, and of course, I see a lot of challenges for the good vibes, yeah. and I think yeah. it's so amazing. I people are showing you, people are showing you some guys. love, man. I appreciate you guys, man. I appreciate <laughs> you guys. I'll drop my own dance moves soon. Illuminating your path with beautiful conversation right here on NBC. My name is Namaf, and today I'm here with the God himself, God of rain, Samini, Samini, Samini. But first of all, before I move on, I prepared there to shout Awale. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, of birthday. course, man, it's his birthday, it's his birthday yeah. anyway, Happy man. Birthday. I think yeah, that week we're going to celebrate the whole yeah, week yeah, for yeah. him. Yeah, he's actually um, my um, my running mate when I'm doing my... Uh, <laughs> Your copy? Uh, my, yeah, my political party. So, all right. <laughs> yeah, running mate. So, all shout right. out to my running mate. Shout out to my Happy birthday. Shout out to Awale. Pa, 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 pa. Pa, 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 pa. Our political party will be... Uh, uh, be the name, the name of the Protesters, 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 party. <laughs> protesters, protesters, party. The, the protesters, 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 party. Oh my right. Hey, our slogan will be: If we run away, we will come again. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you show us anything. Anything, y'all. You better go see protesters. You see protesters. <laughs> yeah, but be, uh, uh, that's, so, that's yeah. a beautiful Make thing. Make up yourself, man. my vice president <laughs> incoming. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> All right. I normally follow him, and of course, the whole nation, the whole world follows him. And at the moment or at that point in time, he came out to declare his love for your talents, the way you sing, the way you raga, and everything. How was the feeling coming from Chatawali? Um, it wasn't news to me because I know him. We like we all grew up in Dansuma. We've bumped into each other on different freestyle locations. Mm. We've had the time to spy on a mic different times. So. I respect his craft as much as he respects mine. And I know what it meant for him to target me, call me out, yeah. and then get the audience and then bring his craft in. Mm, yeah. And I commend him for being able to land when he was given the opportunity. Because Does if he you really come know in, about him, out, that PR tactics that he has known. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tactic. Yeah. So if you know how to use it, you use it. Mm. So whoever is being used on, if you understand it, then you know how to, you know, deal with it and respond where need be yes exactly. yeah so exactly. he did his thing from 2006 all the way to 2013 and when i realized that he had gained the grounds that the numbers was good enough for me to now respond for exactly to exactly exactly I did and that have a coupe. So that have a coupe. i know that we respect each other's craft and i know that we both understand what it means to say there is beef Mm -hmm. Because the beef does not go beyond mm -hmm. the pen and the paper mm -hmm. and the lyric and the mm -hmm. mic. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. the fans and the fan armies mm -hmm. take it to an extreme end and mm -hmm. then it ends up in mm -hmm. negative results. Mm -hmm. But what we mm -hmm. look out for is the people to support the movement, support the music, mm -hmm. and then now call you say football game, everybody and their team. My show, exactly. exactly. But they don't just say the booming and I say, no, 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 no. So, yeah, big up yourself, SM, big up yourself, I agree, big up Bim Nation, big up yeah. Sark Nation, big up all oh, of Oh, my word. You know, it's all love. Like, <laughs> all love, man. Yeah, all the, love. The armies, man. you guys have to know that on the top is all love. Mm. So, when you guys, Mushia Mohua, you go feel day top, day each other top, but it should end there so that we don't see any blood. Let's talk about the creative arts in Ghana. What do you think will be the success key to open for our floodgate? Um, the creative arts industry now, first of all, now that we have a ministry, I think it's a, it's a good step. Yeah. It's a step in the right direction so that we know that there's an office that we can collectively access and then take our, our problems to mm. and then see what there is there, what opportunities there are to access. But on the bigger picture, I think we need more than just an office. We need real infrastructure on the exactly. ground. Exactly. Auditorium. <clears throat> the National Theatre has run down. The Conference Centre has run down. Mm. It, it's only private um, entities who own a few exactly. things that we can use to do mm. all these shows. Mm. So it's becoming um, like too many people chasing just a few um, events. Uh, venue owners, mm. so it makes them use monopoly to overcharge yeah. us in the system, which which is making it difficult for people to do events that could have been handled yeah. and could have been handled so easily. So my appeal would always be to 
you know, allow um, investors to come in mm. to so that we can have variety of auditoriums. And then also something that I think has been on the hearts and minds of most creative people is the fact that we are being we are being restricted from advertising alcoholic beverages. Okay, okay, let's go there. We're, we're being restricted from being let's uh, go there. signed on to become brand ambassadors exactly. for alcohol, uh, alcoholic beverages. So it extends to even worse, we're, we're restricted from getting alcoholic beverages to sponsor our events. Exactly. Which they used to sponsor yeah. for us to be able to do things mm -hmm. and do them, you know, mm -hmm. magni mag like magnified stuff. Nice, exactly. So I'm saying, uh, I don't know where and how that's gonna uh, make uh, uh, somebody that's not supposed to drink, not mm -hmm. drink. Not to drink, exactly, man. It's not gonna do, uh, bring any because to anybody. Because end of the day, there is always the year mark that says don't drink when you're not 18. Exactly. Which is there, so, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it's a responsibility of the, the company to always make that loud in whatever advert that's social happening. social announcement. Until, uh, mm -hmm. uh, before it comes out. Mm -hmm. Because that's, in itself alone has cut out, I mean, has cut off half of ambassadorial revenue that could come to artists. And we're appealing mm -hmm. to the, the parliament to re, to take a look take at the laws again so that if that could be lifted, because you're taxing those who are um, betting. Mm -hmm. You're taxing those who are betting. Mm -hmm. Betting is meant to be haram. <laughs> right? Exactly. If, drink, if, drinking exactly. is, if drinking is haram. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to advertise alcohol. Betting is haram. You're not supposed to allow betting. Mm. So if you allow betting so that you can tax them, yeah. allow me to do the advert so you For tax me. Beverage, yeah, so yeah. you tax me. Exactly. Even if you like, <laughs> take 50% of the tax. Oh, like gosh. how um, if you sign a British player and, and you get 100,000 pounds. Yeah, there's a lot of tax on you. If you like, take half. But that makes me have to up my game, up yeah, my stakes, exactly. have bargaining power, get the people to pay. Exactly. We need them to allow us the, the freedom to advertise for these beverages exactly. so that we can have the financial support we need to put into our events mm. to be able to propel us mm. properly. Because mm. I don't think it is fair in any ratio for you to allow betting to go on in the same space where alcohol cannot be advertised. For you to allow betting to be advertised in the same space and, and where, even, where alcohol cannot be advertised. And the alcohol is being advertised. Don't get me wrong, it's being advertised. After nine. The only problem here yeah. is that you're saying an influential person is not allowed to be paid to, to work with or for an alcoholic beverage. But I think they are playing the ostrich because after nine, there's a lot of kids under, uh, I mean, under 18. I mean, we have I 17, think we need 16. to revisit that. that yeah, topic. they are still watching TV. And I'm starting that conversation here. Exactly. If anybody watches this conversation, watch exactly. this interview, exactly. you can start a hashtag. Exactly. Let's revisit that conversation and hopefully get the people to lift that or, or amend that so that the, the beverage companies will feel free to approach us for us to win-win, exactly. work together, and I, then, exactly, you know, exactly. I mean, Ghana collabing or, or, or that nine o'clock, it's, 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 not, <laughs> it's, not, it's not possible. advert, your share club be How many times did you get the chance to drink? To, to drink out, I mean, I yeah. mean, sometimes we need to, you know, yeah. the hypocrisy look at all this, this, yes, of course, man. The Let's hypocrisy, this, this very well. the hypocrisy is too much. Is too much. Yes, no, that's no. the cry right now. Yeah. Samini is crying to you. And I'm also backing him. Of course, man. Let's bring yeah. it back, please. Let's bring it back. Better waha. Ako waha. Yeah. Because you see, Akwala only 18. More on betting. Akwala only 18. More on no monster. Cool. Akwala, Obi are already 18 plus. Obi to me, I advert I'm a betting company. Exactly. But Obi are already 18 plus. On to me, I advert I'm alcoholic alcohol company. Mentias, yeah. Then it means. Two 18 plus people, no back who are yet short changed. Yeah. <laughs> and you're fair. <laughs> all right. So, I'm on Penny. It's all about tax. So, let's work it yeah, out. Yeah, tax as me. all. Let's work it out. Let's go straight. What's your next project? Well, my next project after good vibes will be um, possibly another single before Christmas. Mm -hmm. And then next year we have an album. 
Yeah, so next year I'm doing a, a, a global album. Oh, okay. I'm looking at reaching to the entire world. So I'm doing some strategic collaborations That's on great. different territories. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be an interesting one. Next. Great. That's but where great. I sit and what I know I have already recorded, yeah. I think um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good one. Oh, okay. So that's for you know entertainment projects. Mm -hmm. Of course, watch watch out for more material from you know brand Samini. All right. And then you know business wise as well, we inspire the youth to still embrace agriculture and don't sleep on it. Okay. And you know this year we've been blessed with a lot of rain. All right. And if you have land back home, go down there and start something. That's right. That's yeah. right. I remember you did a project in Dansuman way back. You indulged yourself in cleaning. Of course, when the whole you know the neighborhood mm -hmm. back to you doing that cleaning yeah, and also yeah. you climax it with a concept is mm -hmm. it going to happen in this year um we're looking at we're looking at bringing back that that dc stage that dc carnival mm -hmm. type of energy but that's that's samini fest okay you know but samini okay. fest is now traveling around different parts of the country oh but samini experience oh it's december 24th and that's more mm -hmm an auditorium kind yeah, of thing, yeah, which this yeah. year we're looking at twisting it differently with okay. different okay. ideas. So I'm still planning with the DC stakeholders, Okay, you know, people like uh, Ancestor, mm -hmm. the laureate, yeah, and then the rest of the crew, you know, Bobby Steele, big up yourself, big up, you know, the whole team, so that we plan the right time to keep an annual street show in mm. DC. Big up yourself, last one, wherever you hear this, yeah. You That's know. what's so up. DC, outside open air show will come but we need to do it and do it right and we all need right. to get the right people on board mm, mm, to mm. make it happen all right that's that's yeah. wonderful that's wonderful of course man um a lot of people are watching you i think across ghana and everything man i just want you to drop your socials so they can interface with you so if you're trying to find me on twitter or x as we call it today mm -hmm. it's samini underscore dagati on facebook the main page is samini all caps and then the fan page is Samini underscore Dagati as well. It's Samini underscore Dagati on every other platform. Go follow. And then also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Samini. And watch out for the brand new video, Good Vibes, to hit you pretty soon. All right. So um, before we leave, I want you to drop your final words before we leave. To the people final watching. words. Go out there. Reach out for the highest grade of everything you're involved in. And make sure you get it before you come home. Achoo. Sa.